to stories of shepherds and stars, of wise men from the east who traversed afar, of reindeer that fly and Santa's white beard. So this story in rhyme might sound kind of weird. <laughs> it's a story about Christmas, don't get me wrong, but it's not one that's ever going to be turned into a song. <laughs> There once was a sock, not so long ago, that was belonged to a girl who was much on the go. A sock, here he is, a nice little chap. What? No, I told you it's a rhyme, not a rap. <laughs> he lived with a girl, her dad and her mother. Oh yes, and we can't forget her eight-year-old brother. <laughs> Jim Sock, she had named him right from the start. And he came from a big store that mother called Walmart. <laughs> His life was quite good. He went everywhere, and that was because he's half of her favorite pair. He was deemed lucky during basketball season, and when she scored on the court, he was sure he was the reason. Despite his great life, and this might sound shocking, he desired most of all to be a big Christmas stocking. <laughs> Each year it appeared, hung gently with pride, right in the window with the tree right beside. Grandma had made it. Her, she stitched her name in red with a picture of Santa driving the sled. Jim thought and he thought about what he could do to be a cool Christmas stocking instead of stuck in a shoe. <laughs> when Christmas Eve came, he hid out of sight. He knew in his little sock heart that this was the night. The, with the family now sleeping, Jim opened his mouth wide, just waiting for Santa to put goodies inside. Jim closed his eyes and pictured the sight then drifted off to sleep for the rest of the night. He awoke with a start to laughter and joy, mom and dad smiling, the kids playing with toys. He lay there empty. He felt he'd been cheated like a sock with no foot. He'd been defeated. <laughs> Well, I thought it was funny. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> sure. He could see now with his slender build that it, it wouldn't take much for him to get filled. He wasn't made to be stuffed to the top. He was a sporty, everyday kind of sock. In this moment, he felt so glad to be him. Just a plain little sock that a child had named Jim. <laughs>